so what's up guys welcome to another video happy to have you here and today like always i'm going to be presenting to you another wonderful plugin this time around it's called sweet alert 2 and it's an amazing tool you definitely need on your project so what is sweet alert tool it's a beautiful responsible response like responsive customizable accessible replacement for javascript pop-up boxes so it's an amazing plugin library or whatever you want to call it which is going to allow us to create some amazing pop-ups so if you don't know what a pop-up is let me show you it right here but i definitely know you know what a pop-up is so this is a normal pop-up in javascript so we're going to click here and so you have this pop-up which appears at the top of your screen so that's kind of the default for all browsers as a kind of default pop-up for javascript but as you can see it's kind of lame when it's on you can't click anywhere else like i'm clicking right now and nothing is happening until i get rid of this pop-up as you can see it just has the same design it just shows you a message and it shows you the button that you can act on so it's kind of unique and you can't really change it that's just how it comes you know so what if you wanted to have something more customizable change the colors I mean add some more life to it maybe put it on the left put it on the right put it at uh, whatever position you want to do and so today this amazing library is going to allow us to do just that so now so this is the normal alert as you have seen but now let's see what happens with the sweet alert too so if i go on and click here now check this out this is a whole totally different um, pop-up experience you know it appears in at the middle of the screen it makes the rest of the content dark it gives you the option to put the button change the color and so much more so it's an amazing library i use it really all the time so like it's very responsive beautiful customizable like everything you see can be changed with some css and some javascript and some html so it's amazing and so we're going to see kind of how it works a little bit in this video so let's go ahead if you want to use it head on to this website sweetalert2.github.io and you're going to see some examples of those here so let's just check it out and see how it works a bit so if we come down here let's see this and here you have an example of the pop-up and then you see the code which is required for this you just have to type in swirl.fire and you put in the message you want to show so let's try it try me so that's it that's the message there that's how it appears so you can see different examples with a lot more options so if you put multiple strings into this this is how it's going to appear so you have here an icon, the internet, and then a text on here. So let's see what was required for this. You have to put in the internet, the, you put it in the next string, then you put in this as question. So it's by putting this question string that you put in the icon of the question mark. So that's how it works quite easily. You can put in and customize it. So here you have an even more detailed explanation. Here you can see the icon, you set it to this. The title says to this, the text says to this, and even the footer is set to this. So let's try out this and you see how it appears. It's amazing. So right now you have your icon up here, the title, the content, the button, and then the footer. So it's amazing. And all you need to do is either click on the OK or click out. And all of that is customizable very much easily so let's go ahead let's see the next example here you see you can put in if you want to put an image you can do so just add a url you can customize the height you can put in the alt text so what does this look like that's how it looks like a very large image and you have your scroll bar on there to show you that image so this is an amazing pop-up library which is going to allow you to have the most customized pop-ups ever so let's go ahead and see some more examples you know you can even set the buttons like you come with all the customization options you can put in the title the icons even some html you can put it on there as you can see you define the html content here you see the tags there both links and so on and so forth you can show the close button true or false you can show the cancel button true or false focus confirm false and so on and so forth so there are so many options on here as you can see this is how it goes so i click here to close so there are so many examples and they are really easy to implement so let's try out some of the examples here you see how it appears at the top right corner that's it on there and he has a timer 
that makes it to disappear once it's it's executed well after the timing is done so you see here position top end and so on and so forth so you go ahead let's try some more you can add some animations with animate.css wow this library is really customizable to the max like you can change everything so as you can see here that's how it works that's why i also like the way they have put so many examples so many things you know explains the all the logic here you see the logic if else statements what happens if you click this button what happens if they click that button and so on and so forth as you can see you can add images like there are just so many things you can do if you're wondering about the background you can set an image as a background put an animation in the background and i mean you can change everything about the pop-up this time around I can even set an auto closing pop up and so <laughs> i'm just kind of going through the examples but you kind of see all the things you can do here you can even get inputs wow so it's quite easy to do quite easy to install all you need to do is to install it with npm or you add the javascript um, um, link there then the usage is quite easy once you have added all the scripts and all or once you have imported them into your project you can now just go ahead and call the library directly quite easy to do so you can integrate it with all these technologies or even simple javascript and you can now have the configurations on here you can add a title title text html text and so on and so forth like so there are so many customization options i can't really go through all of them but you have them all on here and they're quite easy to do so head on straight to this website you can create some amazing notifications you can create some amazing pop-ups you can create some amazing displays on your project on your website it's amazing and i really use it all the time you can add um, these icons or even some custom icons you can add images you can add like animations even like i really like the part where you add animations with another library called animate.css which allows you to add like really really amazing animations so go ahead on there customize it use it to the fullest and really have a well designed and well crafted um, website pop-up experience for your users so definitely i can go through all of how it works the installation is quite simple and it's quite well documented so i'll just leave it to your exploration i just wanted to present to you this quick little library which is amazing check it out make use of it and have some amazing experiences on your website so that'll do for me i hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the next one